Welcome to Bayside City Council. Our population is growing. In fact, over the next 20 years, an estimated 15,000 new residents will call one of our unique suburbs home. As dwellings age and the size of families grow, the use of our homes can change. Many residents decide to renovate, add an extension or develop their land. As we look to the future, it's the Council's job to make sure there is enough quality housing and that Bayside remains a beautiful, livable place we all love. The Bayside Planning Scheme clearly outlines what type of uses and developments are appropriate. To find out what planning regulations apply to your land, you can self-search on our website. Give us a call if you need assistance or for a small fee we can produce a detailed report for you. The process can seem a bit daunting at first, but the Council's Development Services Department is here to help. We have made a series of videos to provide an overview of the process. Remember, there are no silly questions, and problem solving at the start of this process will save a lot of headaches and a lot of money down the track. Let's assume you want to add a second story to your home, and you engage an architect to prepare your proposal. Ask them to make sure they know the planning regulations for your block. Ask your neighbours if they have any concerns. Solving problems early will save you time and money. Before lodging an application, we always recommend talking with one of our planners in a pre-application meeting. Planning in Bayside can be complicated, so most people prefer to engage an expert to lodge and manage their application, like their architect or a private planning consultant. The additional cost usually saves time and money in the long run. This process makes the third party the applicant. By law, council officers can only take direction from the applicant, so it's their responsibility to respond to council requests. In this case, we'll send you copies of important correspondence, but you'll need to direct any matters through the third party. After lodgement, your application will be allocated a planning officer. As your planning officer, I'll be your contact for the duration of your application. I operate independently and while I can offer some guidance, I can't help redraw plans or preempt a final decision. Nor can I work with applicants or objectors to argue a case for or against a permit. At this point, your application may be referred to other council departments, such as traffic, engineering or council arborists for comment. It may also be sent to external agencies such as Melbourne Water, Vic Roads, or anyone with a vested interest. Their role is to make sure that the work on your property isn't going to affect public assets. I'll then provide feedback on any areas where your proposal may not comply with planning regulations. Based on this, you may choose to make changes to the proposal or proceed to the formal assessment stage. If your proposal is likely to affect those around you, the next step is to give neighbours and community the opportunity to raise concerns. Anyone who formally lodges their concerns is known as an objector. Both applicants and objectors have the right to express their views. In many cases, I'll set up a meeting where all parties can discuss their issues. Negotiation and collaboration produce good community outcomes. It's an important part of the process. The last phase of the process is the final assessment. The decision considers all relevant state and local planning policies and requirements, as well as objections and other feedback. Most applications are decided by a senior planning coordinator. More contentious applications might be decided by council at a meeting which is open to the public. In most cases, applicants or objectors that are unhappy with council's decision can appeal at VCAT the Victorian Civil and Administrative Tribunal. VCAT's decision is final, and they'll then direct the Council to implement its decision. Your planning officer can give you an estimate of how long the application process should take. Depending on the complexity, this could be as quick as 10 business days for simpler applications known as VicSmart, or an average of three to four months for more complex applications. You can help by knowing your role, working with your neighbours and acting quickly on council requests.